All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another live episode featuring an unboxing and writing sample. And today's pen, which you see here, is a pelican. Now, which kind of pelican you may have seen from the uh, the preview or the screenshot that the thumbnail that we take before is the Vibrant Orange. It's 2018's Vibrant Orange, and which I actually brought out a couple other uh, Vibrantly Orange pens here to serve as a comparison. And I also have my Vibrantly Orange Pelican Edelstein Mandarin ink here. Okay. But we're going to take a look and unbox the uh, Sovron 600 Vibrant Orange Special Edition, which was a recent release. Just came out, I believe it was last month, worldwide. So we discarded the uh, Pelican white cardboard sleeve. And we have the Pelican. It's a two-part box. It's kind of like a silverish sort of top with a brown logo. And you have like a brown... It's not actual wood, but we're going to pull this apart. And here we have like a little leatherette pouch. It's like a cream, sort of off-white. It's got some nice stitching, finer grain, as Pelican is debossed or embossed. I forget which one it is, but it's pressed into the material here, and you have a little pelican symbol and this is the elastic closure it's got a little piece of tissue paper there so we remove this and this we have open and inside is the pen and so this could serve as a i guess like a carrying case what have you if you if you wanted to carry the the pen in here and then this little compartment could be for other miscellaneous pen items maybe a ink sample or uh, little other parts that you might want to carry with you. Maybe another even pen, a slim pen as well. So we're going to put this back on here. And uh, this is the pen. We'll just get to this in just a second because we have another little separate compartment that this box has. And you can see your move. And underneath here, we have a Pelican booklet. Moments of joy. Just got a little bit of some history and different models, which is kind of cool because then it whets the appetite for further collecting. And you see like all the different, some of which are discontinued. Like this is, these are some discontinued models I see in here, but still nonetheless, nice to see the full range of different Pelican items in there. And then we also have the guarantee booklet printed in several different languages. Has some filling instructions for the different writing modes, including this pen here, which is the piston fill fountain pen. So some good resources there might be missed if you didn't bother to open and pull on the little tab there to pull up the base there. So figure it's worthwhile exploring. I'm always the type that whenever I get a new item, whether it's a coffee maker or a fountain pen, I am always reading the instructions. And that's just, I don't know, it's just the geek in me. Uh, I remember back when I was a kid and we would rent video games and I would be sitting there reading the instructions about how to play the video game and the, uh, the controls and what button does what. And my brother would already be playing it and he'd be just figuring out all along. And that's just my approach to it. I, you know, that, that's, just, I don't know. If you agree with me, let me know. If you don't, you know, uh, let us know in the comments. So that is the Pelican box. It's a deluxe box. So not all Pelican pens come like this, just the 600s, 800s. The Sovron series comes like this. The other classic editions, like 200, 205s, uh, tend to be in a smaller, slimmer type of box. But um, this is the, the, fairly nice box and I don't know maybe you might want to just toss it if you're not the type to keep boxes but it's a cool box very nice presentation so pen itself pen itself is put in a cellophane clear wrap here and has a little tag on here just see it says vibrant orange m600 14k 
as the gold nib designation, then you have this a fine point. So it already tells you right off the bat, this is what you have here. Sometimes if they do nib swaps, uh, Pelican, if they're short on a particular nib and it's a special edition, uh, they may take the original nib that was on it and swap it out so that they could send it off to us as retailers. And so then sometimes that might not be correct, but always the first thing you could check is looking at the nib itself. And this is a fine point, as you can see here. And my camera is working very nicely here to, to respond to the zooming ins and outs. So the pen itself is a translucent acrylic orange. It has a very beautiful, lustrous finish here. It's chatoyant. So as it hits the light in certain areas, you can see like there's some bright fireball that goes on uh, during certain strips of this material. It's more apparent, I think, in the cap because the cap is a little bit thinner uh, so it tends to show through. Also has a bit of transparency. You can see like the, the black section and the section ring as it goes into the cap, which is really cool. You can see, I've already filled this up with Mandarin and you can kind of see the, the Mandarin ink is toward the forward part of this barrel here. The, uh, you know, I, I kind of kind of compare the, the marbling on this to, uh, you know, the colorized images of the uh, of Jupiter, you know, kind of looking at all the Jupiter's uh, storms and swirling cloud patterns and everything. It's quite beautiful, uh, very random, intricate, uh, almost has like a texture of like a, a porous rock or it's just something that's natural forming. So it really has a very organic sort of look to this material. You got the 21 karat gold trims. So you have two uh, blind cap trim uh, trim rings here. You have one at the section. You have uh, the the top finial here of the cap, all 21 karat uh, gold plated. You have the little pelican symbol that's up here. It's like two toned, uh, so it's like a frosted and a polished look on there. You have the pelican, the iconic pelican beak clip, and you have two gold rings that are here, and the cap band ring here reads pelican over here, Pelican, and then it reads uh, Sovran, and then Germany. Yeah, I agree. It could also look like the sun, too. You know, it's like the sun is a bright fireball of hydrogen explosion. It just looks, it just has like that very vibrant sort of look, which, I mean, fits the title, I, I feel, very nicely. So, um, also, the only parts that aren't orange you have are the uh, section is a black acrylic, and then you have the blank cap, which is black as well. The uh, it, you have a piston fill mechanism which holds a lot of ink inside the barrel, and you have the 14 karat gold nib, which is two tones, so it is gold, but the parts that are silver are uh, rhodium coated. So it's like a, it's just to make it look silver. They do the rhodium finishing uh, to make it a two tone pattern, and the the design on it is quite striking has that uh, that sort of swirl that goes around the breather hole and you have the pelican logo 14c-585 which is the gold the actual gold content of the metal alloy and then you have the feed there which like i said has has already been inked with uh, uh pelican edelstein mandarin ink so uh you know looking at this orange, you might say to yourself, well, this orange and black has been done quite a few times. And really the originator of that style uh, was Delta, which is now out of business. But um, this is the Dolce Vita Oro, which was the complete orange uh, Dolce Vita, which usually the Dolce Vita has the uh, orange and black finish. Um, so that's the color pattern that usually it's in. But this one has the uh, completely orange look to it. So you can see like the marbling on this um, acrylic does appear... Uh, much different, uh, more opaque, uh, less chatoyant, I would say. It's got some periods of chatoyancy here with the uh, the marbling that's going along, but um, seems that the, especially in the cap, that the Pelican has quite a bit more of that sort of flair when it catches the light in that certain way. And uh, this uh, Dulce Vita here has got the gold, I think it's gold vermeil trim, so it's stainless, I mean, uh, sterling silver with like a gold plating over top of it. Still a nice pen. This is the only pencil we actually have left. Um, it is a mechanical pencil, and I just pulled it out just for this particular comparison. Uh, next pen that had come out pretty much right after uh, Del Delta had come out of business and had become bankrupt and Dulce Vitas were going like crazy, uh, Aurora had picked up 
where they had left off with the O Sole Mio Optima. So this takes, you know, direct inspiration from the Dulce Vita and going with a black cap, black section, black uh, blind cap, and gold trims with the orange body. And we're just taking a look at that with the Pelican uh, Vibrant Orange. Uh, you can see it kind of does match a little bit more here. Uh, a little bit lighter of an orange, I want to say, on the Osole Mio than the Delta original. But the uh, but still kind of the same sort of uh, marbling in terms of like kind of like being a more chunky sort of marble that hits the light in certain patterns. Then you also have on um, the more price-friendly section, I'll call it, is the... Conklin Duragraph in the Knights, uh, Orange Knights, or I guess they, they just called this the Duragraph Knights because this was the first in that collection. So uh, this really takes a inspiration. I mean, it's the Alpha, the distributor of Conklin, the owner of Conklin, and the previous distributor of Delta, Yaffa, uh, decided, hey, Delta's out of business. Let's go and make a Dulce Vita of our own. So they made the uh, Conklin Duragraph in the orange and black, which looks quite nice, just comparing it against the Aurora. And, you know, just kind of like looking at it, and it's uh, I, would, I would say that the Duragraph has got a bit more uh, translucency, I feel. So you can see the converter that's in there as I'm putting it through. The uh, Aurora is a little bit lighter still, comparing it here with the Delta. So I kind of feel it has less, the, the, the Conklin has a little bit less marbling. Uh, it does catch the light in that certain way, um, but it just seems to have less vibrancy overall than all of the other three pens that are here. Uh, but still looks quite nice. I mean, it's a great, nice piece of acrylic that they used for this. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking for something that's more along the lines of the original Dolce Vita, it's not quite there. Um, but still and you're talking price difference, this is quite a bit more affordable. I think it's like one-sixth the price of what a Dulce Vita would probably go for. So, um, you know, take that into consideration as well. But the, just looking at all four pens here. Yeah, so we're looking at this here. And I mean, you know, despite the fact that you could make a direct comparison with all these oranges, I feel like the Pelican is a completely different, you know, level of... Uh, uh, you know, level of vibrancy, I would say, uh, especially because of that chatoyancy that just is apparent on certain bands as it hits the light. It really does shine a lot brighter, I'd say, and a lot more vividly than the other uh, three models here. In terms of which one is more orange, I would probably say that the uh, Delta is probably still more orange. This uh, The Conklin is a bit darker of an orange. I would say it's like a little bit more towards like a reddish orange comparing everything together. Um, but really, we're splitting hairs here. So it's, uh, it's nice just to see them all together and kind of getting a sense for uh, where all these guys are at. Uh, if you're looking price-wise, I mean, the, the Conklin Duragraph can't be beat at uh, $51.95 on sale. Uh, you have the Aurora Osole Mio. Uh, this guy here is uh, $499.95 uh, on sale. The Delta, this just this last piece. Did I even write down the price? No, I did not. I did not. But this is the last price. This, I mean, you can't even compare it because it is a pencil. So, um, But the uh, price tag on the uh, Vibrant Orange is uh, for seventy-five. 95 and comes with a free bottle of ink for a limited time as well. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, you pay for quality, you pay for, uh, you pay for the design. Uh, but, uh, but most of all, it's about the consistency in the writing. Uh, you're looking at, uh, 14 karat gold nibs on these two guys, whereas you're looking at a stainless steel nib on the Conklin Duragraph. So, you know, just talking about the different colors and things like that, we could, um, we could go all day, but like, let's take a look at the actual writing sample of this guy. We'll put these off to the side here. We'll get the writing pad. All right. Now, just excuse me if I'm just going to be minding more of the paper here. So I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. 
Okay. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, this is uh, inked with Pelican Edelstein Mandarin. I am on the paper here. I'm just double checking to see if I'm even in frame here. Now, right out of the box, this, this pen nib writes extremely smoothly. I, I enjoy a little bit of that. Um, it does have like a little bit of give to it. I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't say it's bouncy, but it does have a little bit of that uh, give when you put more pressure on it. So overall, I mean, uh, the size-wise, the 600 is kind of like your, your, your best of both worlds in terms of like for men and women. Uh, like the my being an average hand, uh, it fits perfectly with the cap posted and the fact that it's made mostly out of resin, uh, out of the acrylic material, it's lightweight. So I always felt like whenever I try an 800, especially with the brass piston mechanism that would be in the 800 and sometimes the heavier trims that they put in the larger size, I just feel like sometimes it's a little too much for me. But the, but the 600 is a really nice size and Pelican tends to put many of the more interesting and more vibrant colors in the 600 collection, I believe for that reason, because it is more accessible uh, for both men and women that, you know, if it doesn't necessarily hit with the men's ta taste and sensibilities, it may do well with, uh, with women too. So, um, you know, just kind of like, just talking about a little bit more of the, of the actual nib itself, you know, I would say, it's a pretty true European fine. I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, pelicans could be quite broad and and very wet writers, but I'm finding that this is pretty on key, this particular piece that's here. I mean, it certainly could vary from pen to pen if, you know, if, if the if quality control uh, does not catch the uh, particular pen and uh, correct it, but this this particular one is is definitely quite fine. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like I would say probably about like a 0.7 uh, millimeter line it's producing. And um, let me see. So it's just you know it just has a has a very pleasant hold. Uh, you know the the section does kind of have like a little bit of a flare towards the towards the end here. And it just, you know, the, the grip threads really aren't in the way so much because it is an ample section. So, and then just overall the balance and the, the, the weight of it just feels very natural to me. It doesn't feel um, back weighted or heavy at all. So I can imagine being able to write with this for a long time, and which I have. I've, I've written a lot of notes with this to uh, get my notes for the review as well. So hard to find. Nib. Okay, so one of the things, too, I'd like to talk about is uh, Pelican has a nib exchange program. And I always like to mention this to anybody that uh, does buy a Pelican, is that you have 30 days from the date of purchase 
to exchange then if you do not like the nib size if you feel like the nib size is too thin for your writing or too broad or you just feel like you need to just have a different type of nib um, you could contact uh, Pelican's uh, US distributor here and that's chart pack and a very lovely woman, her name's Abby, A-B-I, and she uh, handles nib exchanges, uh, returns, and warranty work and things like that. So if you do have any issues with it, she's the one to talk to. She is awesome. Uh, she is, is very knowledgeable about Pelican pens, particularly the fountains, and uh, does nib exchanges all the time. So um, that's a benefit of being able to order from a U.S. authorized retailer is that if you do try to send, let's say, a pen that you purchase outside of the U.S., if you purchase it directly from Germany or from another different market, they consider that a gray market purchase, um, and they will not honor nib exchanges or warranties uh, within the United States. You would have to send it back to the place that you purchased it from overseas. So um, that's one of the, the things that you know really kind of get glossed over when you are looking around and shopping and doing a lot of comparison shopping and you just see, oh, price, 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 you know, oh, well, it's, it's a lot cheaper if I order it, even though it's shipping and everything like that. But yeah, there's, there's this particular benefit here that you won't be able to take advantage of if uh, worse comes to worse, if you really, you know, want to exchange it um, or if you have an issue with it down the road, which I mean, Pelicans are very, very fuss free. Um, they're, they're mostly, you know, they're built to last a long time and, uh, and you really shouldn't have any issues with it, but it's just kind of that peace of mind that you really need to, uh, be concerned about. So, um, you know, it's, a, it's just a classic pen. It's an eye catching color. It um, you know, it throws no punches when it comes to the overall writing experience and just the overall, uh, design of the pen it's it's one of those things where it's if it's not broke don't fix it so pelican uh really had hit a stride with creating the sovereign collection and really has not attempted to make any you know a dramatic improvements or design changes because it just works it works so well and uh and this pen is like a, a christmas orange in your stocking and for a limited time, you know, if you'd like to get the vibrant orange, you could pair it with, let's say, the mandarin orange here. And for gold spot pens, we are throwing this ink in included with the purchase of the pen. So, but like I said, I mean, this video is going to be around for a lot longer than probably this pen will be because it is a special edition and may end up selling out and then becoming scarce within, you know, six months or so, possibly. That's that's usually the, ten the turnaround time for these uh, special editions. So uh, six months to a year, usually. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, uh, it also is available in a ballpoint pen. So if you're more into the ballpoint or you want a matching ballpoint, you could do that. Um, those go for a three twenty seven ninety five. And uh, the price for this guy, like I mentioned earlier, is $475.95 uh, and also includes the ink. So I appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, checking out this unboxing and writing sample. And I wish you guys have a awesome weekend, awesome start to your December. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see any particular other pens that we have uh, in an unboxing or as a full review. And I'd be glad to be able to do that for you. We have some time now since we're done with producing the catalog and everything and uh, getting the magazine out there. So uh, we could do some more videos for you guys and would love to uh, hear your feedback on that. So without any further ado, appreciate you guys hanging out and stay ink, my friends. Have a great weekend. Take care.